Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. You will be watching this video while I'm gone. Uh, I got it made today. I will be publishing it on a release for later so that you can see this while I'm in New Zealand. I rock. I know. <laughs> so we did a fun sculpture today. Uh, I used tea bags and old vintage photos and beeswax and rust paste. And just had a blast. So I would pick the sculpture up and show you, but she is not quite dry yet. So uh, I changed the angle of the camera around again today to see if I could capture me dipping in the beeswax. We'll see how it went. Uh, I haven't looked at the video, of course. I do all of this uh, filming, and then I check it out and edit it. So we shall see. All right, no more from me. Hola from New Zealand, <laughs> and see you on the table. All right, here's your project for today. We've got tea bags, images, sewing, spool, this is the skeleton of an old lampshade that I rusted, a fabric spool, a box, fun face, little hands, beeswax, so fun. All right, look at all of this stuff on my play area today. We shall see what we come up with. These are a couple of uh, coffee stained filters. I have a box, some fun underpants, some braiding cord, it's just what I had, a little girl's face, some tea bags, some blocks, we shall see about those, don't know about those. I have the spool and this lampshade skeleton. So. Let's see what happens on this play desk. First off, this is a children of the past and photographic portraits. So I will be going through here and removing some of these pictures. And I want them to fit in a tea bag so they won't be very big. So I've taken a page out of that book. I will tear an image that I'm going to use. Measure this on a tea bag. Take a book page, make that a little bit bigger than the image, make sure that's still going to fit into the tea bag. It is. And I will Mod Podge this on here, and I will do that with six images. I'm going to be dipping these in wax, so I do want to seal that with Mod Podge. So I will start that process and then we will be back. Okay, I have my six images on their little old pages. Now I'm going to just pull the tags and string off these tea bags, bring my X-Acto in and just go along the very bottom of this and open it up. And I'm just going to um, dump the tea out. Tea is out of the tea bag. I'm going to slip. 
slip my image into that tea bag. And I'll do that with all six images. All right, I have my six images in their tea bags. And I'm going to think about what I want to do with them. I don't know if I want to dip them in wax. They're pretty cool just like that. So we're going to give some thought to that. And while we're thinking about that, we are going to bring our spool in and cover it with some underpants. Mod Podge and underpants. So just go for it. I, have, I still have some stamps laying around, so I am just going to bring a couple of those in for interest. I'm going to bring in some sewing pattern. Just lay that on there. However it falls is great. Are we having fun yet? Yes, we are. All right, we're going to set that aside to dry. All right, while that dries, I'm going to put some underpants on the box. Nothing special. Just cover it. Okay, so at this point I have underpants on the box and I have underpants on the spool. Both of those are drying. What I want to do right now is overthink this piece and I'm not going to do that. So with these glorious Mod Podge fingers, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to cut this little face out. I'm going to cut the hat and everything out and I'm using my X-Acto and I'm getting nice and close to the image. So I created a podcast about what is inspiring to people and, oh, Mod Podge on your face, sorry, sweetie. Uh, what I wanna say is what inspired this piece is going to a purging swap where people were getting rid of things and that's where I got the spool 
and the lampshade skeleton and some blocks and so that was the inspiration for this piece not anything I saw except, <laughs> except in my own mind <laughs> Bringing in my Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. I'm going to grunge this up. A little bit of the fossilized amber. Vintage photo. I'm going to bring that little girl's face in and Mod Podge her down. She's so cute. Okay, Handsome Hubby is awake. I've rusted this. This is set aside to dry. I have some spools. I think they're all the same height. 
going to put some underpants on these that don't have any thread and I'll leave the thread on these. These are going to be the legs that the girl is going to stand on. Fossilized amber, just crunch these up a little bit. I'm going to take my vintage photo, crunch these up a little bit more. Then I'm going to take the tea bags with the images in it to the sewing machine and I'm just going to sew around the edge of each image. Okay, so I have all of the little images sewn into their tea bags. I'm going to bring some of this braiding twine in. that. I don't know, maybe 12 inches or so. Hi Hudson. So I'm going to grab a large eyed needle. And I am going to just sew this to the top and knot it. Oh, we got lots of yummy threads. Let's see. Yeah. Knot that at the top. One should be enough. So I will do that to the top and the bottom of each tea bag. Alright, I'm going to continue on with the cord at the top and the cord at the bottom, knotting it. Alright, here's the last tea bag image. I've got two pieces of twine in each tea bag image now. And these are ready to go dip in some wax. Aren't they gorgeous? Yes, they are. They're little spools. All right, better go turn the wax on. Now I have some Saddle Brown Stays On ink. And I'm just going to go around. I would like these a little bit grungier. So I'm just taking this Stays On ink and I'm just making these a little bit dirtier and grungier. Same thing with her, grunge around the edges. And then I'm going to grab our spool and grunge this up a little bit.
waiting for the wax to heat up. I have the camera at a different angle. I'm hoping that this is going to help when I bring the wax in. Now I have these hands that I'm going to put on the body of this girl. I'll just glue those on with Mod Podge. Okay, so here's my fry pan filled with beeswax. It's just an organic, unfiltered beeswax, unbleached. I have my tea bag with all of its strings. I'm just going to dunk it in here, catch those strings, and then let that beeswax drip off. And then when it's cool enough for me to handle, I will just take this side and dip all these strings in. Want to watch one more? It is way fun. All right. I think this still might be a good angle for us to play with. So I will bring these. They look like antenna. Um, I'm going to bring these images in. And just double knot that. Beautiful. Alright, and I'm just going to tie the rest of these on here. I'm not going to try to make them the same height on the lampshade. Make them at different heights. So that will be fun. So see how this one's lower? And we'll make one higher. And here I'm going to tie the very last one on. Put all the strings on the outside. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to bring my girl's face back in. It's the billow around her edge. Look at this stabilo, not much left to it. doesn't really need it. This is the, the hands. I'm going to stabilo around the edge of the hands.
grunge up the spools just a little bit more with that stabilo. I don't want to change the camera angle yet because I want to put the sculpture together on the table with you. All right, so here are, isn't that fun? Oh my goodness. All right, I'm bringing in some E6000, brand new tube, single serving size tubes. I'm going to put this around the edge of the ring, our altered lamp skeleton. Decide who gets front and center. This little gal does. Put our hands on there. E6000 here. Line that face up with those hands. Hands lay, uh, lined up with the front of the skirt. So I'm going to put some E6000 across there. So I have four spools on. The I used this E6000 there. It will be shiny when it dries. So what I will do is I will take an emery board in here and I will take that shine off because I do not care for the shine. So here's your project. So much fun. So much fun. Took a little while to do it. I love that. Some good playtime on the table. So your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun. Let me turn the light on her. Beautiful.